I've got to talk about the Republicans who go out of their way to defend a party that wants nothing to do with them. Like not too long ago, Dave Rubin announced that he and his husband were having uh, two kids and the right shit on him ruthlessly and relentlessly. So it was uncomfortable for me to watch. But guess what he's doing? He's still attacking his own community and he's going to attack uh, genderless queer whack jobs in this particular segment and um, the analogy that he uses to explain why it's so absurd that there are trans and non-binary people is incredibly ironic because the same thing can be applied to gay men individuals like himself but let's listen imagine here's i was thinking about this this weekend actually um imagine just picture your grandma picture your grandma and grandpa on either side can you guys do it with me in this room let's all, all picture our grandparents are we supposed to close our eyes <laughs> my grandparents are all dead all of them so i can't do this um so sorry i guess i can't participate now picture your grandparents at say 30 years old and imagine them being told at say 30 years old that men can get pregnant how do you think grandma would have reacted back then? Well, back then, culturally, it was a very, very different climate. They were taught that trans and gay people didn't exist. And I mean, you could say the same thing. Like, imagine telling Dave Rubin's grandmother, imagine this. Imagine telling them when they're 30 that two men could get married. They would think that was absurd. And they would. Because shocker, older generations are more homophobic. They didn't grow up around people who were openly gay. Therefore, to them, they're ignorant. They don't know anyone. So this isn't an own. You could say the same thing about gay people. They would think that you having two kids with a man is equally as absurd. So do you honestly think this is an own, Dave Rubin? Because the same thing would apply to you. Like, he doesn't think this through at all. He tries to throw trans people under the bus in hopes that this will save gay people from the wrath of the fascists. But unfortunately, it's not. You're going into the blender too, buddy. Sorry, we're all going into the blender. There's no discernible difference to them. Ha two men having kids together is as equally crazy as somebody saying that a trans man can get pregnant because to them, it's all the same. The reason why they hate trans people is the same reason why they hate Dave Rubin. It's because you were born a certain way. Therefore, there are expectations ascribed to you. You're supposed to be attracted to and be intimate with only the opposite sex. You're supposed to dress a certain way, act a certain way. But Dave Rubin can't understand that or he does understand it, but he's just saying what he thinks he needs to say for right wing applause. And that's really craven and pathetic. But that's where we're at, where it's very lucrative to sell out your own community in this day and age. And that's what he's doing. And it's really sick. I think grandpa would react. Do you see, this is what the destruction of logic and reality and everything else. They would have known it was bullshit. They would have gone to Europe and fought a war over it. Oh, you telling me that dudes can get pregnant? We're going to Normandy. You telling me that two men could get married? We're going to Normandy. Up yours, woke moralists. Understand? That's what they would have done. Instead, we sit here and take it from these genderless, queer whack jobs. That's what we do. But we are fighting back. Ron DeSantis is fighting back. That's why things are going so well here. Uh, and it's not just that he's fighting back just against, against the assault on, on biology. Uh, he's also fighting. They're calling you having two children an assault on biology as well, dummy. The same questions that he's asking about, oh, well, how would your grandparents react to this are the same questions that um, they're asking about him. What, two men are having a baby? How is that going to work? Are you going to push the baby out of your asshole? You going to breastfeed the baby, Dave Rubin? He's so shameless. He's so shameless. Like this is textbook grifting right here because I don't actually believe that he believes what he's saying because he knows this could easily bite him in the ass. Back on this lunacy being taught to our kids in school. Imagine, here's, I was thinking about <laughs> this lunacy being taught to our kids in school, which Ron DeSantis has a uh, band, right? Which Dave Rubin supported. Think of how craven Dave Rubin is. And I've, I've talked about this before, but it really is worth saying again that he deleted his Disney account over hysteria related to grooming because Disney, there was like a leaked video or something where Disney executives were talking about how they were trying to 
increase LGBTQ plus representation in movies and TV shows. And one of the uh, Disney execs was like, yeah, I have a not so secret agenda. I'm always trying to you know, implement more queer images and more representation here and there. Uh, and a bunch of conservatives got angry. They deleted their Disney Plus over this. And Dave Rubin, like the dumb fuck that he is, joined them. But you're having kids with another guy. So their definition of grooming, if you accept that, means that you're not allowed to have kids. Because just them being exposed to the existence of gay people means that they're being groomed. So how are you going to raise kids with another dude, Dave? Are you going to like try to hide your boy your uh, husband away how is this going to work are you going to hire a you know a an actress to be the the fake mom like i'm just trying to figure this out because by your standards you wouldn't be able to live your life right and he's he's congratulating fucking ron DeSantis when ron DeSantis said we're doing don't ask don't tell but this time for teachers in classrooms the way that the law is being interpreted they're instructing teachers to uh, remove photographs of their same-sex partners. If they have an LGBTQ plus lanyard, like a rainbow lanyard, they're supposed to take that off. And this is what the district had given them before. So Dave Rubin's like, oh, no, see, we're pushing back against this woke, dumb ideology uh, because Ron DeSantis is leading the fight and no more genderless uh, whack jobs. When you're part of that, buddy... You're part of that. You sons of bitches. Now, speaking of gay conservatives, I've got to give a shout out to Glenn Greenwald for just, you know, I don't know if they award gold medals for mental gymnastics, but if they did, Glenn Greenwald should be awarded the highest honor there because God damn, the lengths that he goes to to defend Republicans is honestly impressive. And what's sad is that Glenn Greenwald is not an idiot okay unlike dave rubin I, I think that glenn greenwald is intelligent but this is what he chooses to do this is what he chooses to dedicate his time and energy to so as you all know the house voted on marriage equality to codify obergefell v hodges and matt gates i guess this is an ally of glenn greenwald i'm not sure why matt, uh, glenn greenwald decided specifically to uh defend Matt Gates in particular, but Matt Gates was one of the individuals who voted against codifying marriage equality. So Glenn Greenwald decided to construct an entire tweet to defend Matt Gates for some reason when he just voted against marriages like yours. So I don't understand why these gay conservatives feel obligated to defend every bigoted thing that their right wing friends do, but this is very weird. So he says, in 2015, Florida banned adoptions by same-sex couples. The bill in the lower house to rescind that ban was sponsored by then-state representative Matt Gates. It passed the Senate only because he convinced his father, a powerful GOP senator, that the ban was wrong. Wow, that sounds incredible. Great. But yesterday, Gates was one of the House Republicans to vote against codification of Obergefell same-sex marriages. Uh-oh. So what does that tell us? That um, even if... Matt Gates did this. He still loves gay people. Um, no, actually, people are complicated. People change. But Glenn Greenwald is like, oh no, well he did this one good thing for gay people. He was a decent human being before, and uh, that gives him a forever pass. Apparently, what? I don't think it works that way. Like, <laughs> you don't just get to forever do shitty things and legally oppress people if you did one good thing. And it's probably the case that Matt Gates had a change of heart. He has, I think, demonstrably shifted further to the right. He's trying to, I think, pander to more extremists within the party. So, you know, he changed. Whether that's authentic or not, I'm not really sure. But he's no longer an ally. So there's no need for you to defend it. You don't, you're not obligated to defend him for the rest of his career. But that's what Glenn Greenwald is doing. And the rationale here is fucking stupid. So yesterday, Gates was one of the House Republicans to vote against codification of Obergefell same-sex marriages. That no vote wasn't due to opposition to marriage equality, really, could have fooled me, but to his view that individual states have always regulated marriage, not the federal government. Except that's, one, not a good position, because if you think that states should be allowed to ban gay marriages, that's pretty bigoted is it not 
is that is that permissible for a gay person? I can't I can't think of another uh, like gay person besides Glenn Greenwald and maybe Dave Rubin who would think it's okay to leave it up to states. Do we leave it up to states to ban interracial marriages? Do we leave it up to states to uh, enact slavery if they wanted to? No. In fact, there was a civil war about this. So if you think that states should be allowed to ban gay marriages, then you just don't think that it's a fundamental right and you're not an ally. And furthermore, this is literally not true. Like he says that uh, in Matt Gates's view, individual states have always regulated marriage. No, that's not true. There are federal and state benefits to marriage. If you get married, then the federal government also plays a role. You get social security benefits, tax benefits. So you can't just say, oh, well, the states play a role. I mean, marriage is one of those things that kind of has overlapping jurisdiction between states and the federal government. But this is not even like what Obergfell and Loving v. Virginia were about. In those cases, the question wasn't, should states be allowed to ban interracial or gay marriages? The rationale was, when it comes to interstate travel, you know, if you get married in Massachusetts, then that marriage should still be recognized if you choose to move to Virginia. So this is really a question of interstate travel, but conservatives are trying to make it seem as if, oh, no, no, this is just a matter of states' rights. Well, no, I don't believe that we should be able to states' rights away all of our fucking rights. Fuck that. And for Glenn Greenwald, a gay man in a gay marriage to make this point, it's incredibly embarrassing because he's just, he's embarrassing himself for Matt fucking Gates of all people. Uh, the last Gallup poll shows 70% of Americans, a majority of GOP, support gay marriage. Blake Masters said in the Washington Post today, he teared up at Peter Thiel's wedding. Who gives a fuck? Fuck Peter Thiel too. Peter Thiel is a dipshit billionaire who is a gay man who funds anti-gay candidates. But, I mean, Blake Masters teared up. Who cares? What I give a shit about is how you're going to vote. How you're going to use your power as a politician to fuck over these marginalized communities. I don't care if it tugs on your heartstrings to hear like a feel-good story on the Hallmark movie channel about some gay dude who found love. I don't give a shit. That shouldn't matter to any of us. For politicians, how are you going to vote? And the way that you vote matters. And for some reason, Glenn Greenwald is giving Blake Masters a pass. That's extremely bizarre. Uh, the vital and politically risky role Gates played in rescinding the Florida ban is ignored. People aren't cartoons. So, and then there's this poll, support for uh, marriage equality by political party. And he demonstrates here that a majority of Republican voters support marriage equality now, 55%. Okay, well, how does this prove your point? Because isn't this all the more reason for Gates to support marriage equality then, since the base now supposedly supports it too? I just feel like there's no reason for you to have to do this. There's no reason to bend over backwards to appease people who would vote to strip you of legal equality, Glenn. But here we are. Glenn is a craven weirdo now who, whenever he like sees that a Republican was being criticized, he gets like some sort of a, an alert and he, he just snaps into defense. It's like there's a bat signal that, that goes off. Oh, can't let this stand. Got to defend that Republican. Dave, Glenn, these Republicans fucking hate you. Let's be very, very clear. They hate you. They want you to be shoved into a blender at worst. At best, they don't think you should have any legal rights at all. So you don't have to defend them. You could choose to sit this one out. Just say, okay, you know what? This was fucked up. I thought that Matt Gates was an ally. I'll sit this one out. Not going to defend him. But Glenn Greenwald jumps into gear to defend Matt fucking Gates of all people. I just, I guess I don't get it. I don't get it. It's bizarre to me. Why do this? If you think that I am less than you, if you think that I'm inferior, I'm not going to defend you. You can go fuck yourself. That's not to say that, you know, if you say something insensitive on accident or you're not the best ally, I abandon you. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about Matt Gates. We're talking about hateful people who are hateful bigots. And you see the way that these conservatives defend them. It's just, it's embarrassing. And Glenn Greenwald, really, he should feel embarrassed. Like, this is clown shit right here. And Glenn Greenwald knows better. But for whatever reason, he chose to become the biggest GOP bootlicker in America. 
and um, I don't even think he lives in America, so he doesn't have to do this, but here we are.